Heidi here from Right Social. I am so excited to be with Zach Benson. He's the go-to Instagram expert. So when someone wants to grow their Instagram following, he has all the secrets, tools, strategies, and experience to absolutely crush it. So I'm really excited to yeah, be here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a yeah, pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So Zach, tell me your story because it's quite an interesting one in terms of how you got involved in Instagram. Yeah, I mean, so before all this marketing stuff, I was a great dancer traveling the world teaching dance clinics. I didn't know that. Yeah. Can you bust a move? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't, I'm in the studio right now, but that's like, that is awesome. You know, um, and you know, was on the TV show So You Think You Can Dance, and you know, that kind of kick started my career and helped me teach dance all around the world. And I was just dancing and teaching and performing and battling and also doing Instagram on the side. And so, uh, the side Instagram was my side hustle, and it overtook, overtook like my uh, dancing because I actually hurt my back. Um, it's ended my career, I was rushed to the hospital, the doctor came in and was like, Zach, you'll have surgery, I don't think you can ever dance again. And I was, after that surgery, I never was able to dance. And so then I went all in with Instagram, and now we have a 220 million network on Instagram, working with the Ritz-Carlton, uh, a lot of big luxury brands, so, you know, life has changed and I'm happy, I'm blessed. So, that's an incredible story top secrets you gave us the secret sauce top in secrets, your presentation yes. oh yeah um, you talked about the sort of the pillars to success with growing an instagram account from zero to oh, yeah. nearly hero status yes i think a lot of people when they see someone with like over a million followers they say oh that's got to be a growth tool or how do you how does somebody do that you know and it seems out of reach um but your strategy seems very doable when you stick to it so are you happy to share some of yeah, your so strategies yeah so we don't just like use any automation at all so no follow and follow no um, robots because that's actually bad for your account and, and it'll get it shut down um, so you know the first tip that I recommend people do is like um, re you know use hashtags the right way so instead of like using super basic generic hashtags that everyone uses like you know like agriculture if you're like in, like Australia. agriculture <laughs> yeah or like real estate or real estate investors or travel um, some of these uh, hashtags have hundreds of millions and millions of posts on them so if you're just starting out and you only have like maybe 100 followers or 500 followers likelihood of you actually hitting the top post for that hashtag is like it's like zero so I recommend that you start with like agriculture hashtag and then Instagram is going to show you all of the related hashtags to agriculture yes. the main one and you can scroll left and you can go up and down and you can find hashtags that have smaller number of posts on them and you want to use about 25 to 30 of these hashtags um, on your posts maybe put two to three in the description yes. and after you post copy and paste the rest of them in the first comment mm -hmm. um, and you're going to start so your your content will be searchable so when people are searching and typing in agriculture or whatever you're searching for, you'll be able to find your posts. Yes. And because you're using hashtags that have a smaller number of posts on them, yes. you'll be able to rank at the top. So you're sort of like the big fish in the in the small pond. Yeah. And yeah. then you can start to grow from there. Exactly. That's, That's how fantastic. you should do it. That's a re it's, it really works. You gave me a really good um, tip, which was in the bio, often we use that we put our username in the bio and it's a double a double use of that username and it's this very high quality real estate space right there and you talked about including uh, your keywords yes. that you want to be ranked for in on SEO on Instagram in your bio so then you start to get it searched and your account will come up exactly so think of like Instagram as like the new like SEO right because on Google it costs so much money you have to have a lot of press backlinks and it takes a lot of time. If you use this one, this one simple trick that I'm about to teach you, like you can start ranking at the top for these keywords that you want to show up for every single day. Um, and so, you know, secret number two is basically, you, you know, everyone has a username, right? So it's whatever your account is called, that's your username, that's your handle. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is like, they can actually rank for like two to three different keywords and even emojis. You can rank by, for emojis? Yeah, you can rank really? for emojis. I didn't know that. Um, and so like, wow. you can, in the name section, when you edit your profile, yes. it says username, 
Vanessa's name. Yeah. Instead of putting the same thing twice, um, you know, erase it and put two to three different keywords that you know you want to rank for, whatever your page is about, or whatever yeah. type of content you post. Yeah. And is there research you can do for that in terms of identifying what those keywords are for you? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's really, it's like what, whatever your business is about, like whatever like um, customer or um, your ideal follower is, yes. is you think is searching for. That's the yes. type of uh, keyword that you should write down. So another question on that. We know Google's moving away, or it's still very much keyword heavy, but it's very context-based. So having an FAQ, for example, on your website, um, is sort of reading the intentions of the user, what they type in in search. When we translate that over to Instagram, are people using Instagram where they're typing in um, searching for fencing equipment or how do I fence my property, or are they just uh, uh, yes. are they going just fencing? Yeah, I mean they I they do both, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because you can find a lot of tutorials and how tos on Instagram, so it's sort of like YouTube, yes. where people are, um, you know having these step-by-step -step instructional videos um, on, on the platform, so I would say both. Yes, I yeah. feel like that's happening more and more, like platforms yeah. are moving in that direction, like that yeah. context-based sort of questioning, yeah. yeah. Um, the other question I had is the time it takes to build an Instagram account. Um, is there a formula where you can say, right, 20 minutes in the morning, I'm going to work on this, you know, every day, like for, for the sole entrepreneurs out there looking to build their account? Yeah, that's a good question. Nowadays, it's a lot harder to grow on, on Instagram and, you know, even Facebook and any social media platform, right? And it's all about consistency, right? So it's the small little things that you do or don't do that compound and add up to big results. Yes. So 20 minutes a day, right? So making that, making the one post a day or two posts a day, every single day, day after day, will lead to more followers, more exposure to your account. Um, so I always tell people like that. Obviously, the more time that you can spend on the platform and you know, use, utilizing all of Instagram's features, doing the stories, using the highlights, go, doing Instagram Lives, doing Instagram TV. Um, I mean, it just, it only takes a, a few minutes a day, really. Yes, yep. Um, but it's all about creating really epic, great content. Yes. You're amazing. That at. leads more to more growth. More growth, yes. Right. The other, uh, the other question on my mind is the converting tools of Instagram. So if you've got over ten thousand followers, of course you can swipe up. Yes. Until that time, I know you can put a video on IGTV and still have that swipe up. Oh yeah. Uh, yep. um, uh, access point. Um, obviously, the go-to is click the link in the bio. There's also Linktree, which gives you the three different, or up to six, seven different menu options where you can click different call to actions um, but what other conversion like for stories for example if you haven't got 10,000 followers yet how else are you converting your um, your customers from fans I oh, know not converting your customers sorry how else are you converting your fans to customers on Instagram yeah so I mean so I think this is uh, where a lot of people go wrong because a lot of like everybody wants to like sell something right and everybody wants to make some money like selling something that they're passionate about and and what I find is it's it's, it's not hard selling on Instagram it's said you got to be thinking about like how can I just provide like instructional videos um, full of value that's really just gonna help my audience and just give it out freely and when you start to do this enough um, in enough times like people are gonna be like wow like okay like this, they'll like they'll come to you because yeah. like you're providing so much like tips and tricks and yes. amazing stuff that's gonna help them. And then when you finally have like a product to sell or mm -hmm. a service to promote, yes. I mean they're like it's in demand. They're ready to buy. So I I'd focus on just you know step one, creating amazing content, mm -hmm. giving a ton of ton of value, yes. um, be, responding, and engaging with the the people that comment and post mm -hmm. and. That follow you, um, liking and commenting on their pictures, creating that relationship. Yes. And then every now and then, like maybe you know, once every couple of weeks, um, create a post with a call to action, like saying, "Hey," um, and you can even write the text on the post or in the video, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and in the description, and say, "Hey, click on the the, the link in the bio for yes. more information," yes. which is going to lead them to even more value. Yes. More free value, and then after that, maybe it can 
be to your free Facebook group where you're going in doing instructional videos and lives and doing a QA and a and helping them with stuff. Yeah. And then finally, you know, promoting like one of your products or services that you really want to sell and get them signed up for. Yeah. But it's really like, okay, wow, like this guy's helped me so much. Like, what can I just, I just want to buy something now. Yes. Or like, or like how can I help you? You know what I mean? Yes. And that's yes. just like how life works. Yes. And I think that's better for the relationship of the customer, which all translates to that lifetime value. They will keep coming back and back. So it's like an investment of your time initially to show that value and show what they can expect when they do business with you. Exactly. And then keeping them, keeping yeah. them with you along. And it's, it's also just not being afraid to just put yourself out there and put out content. Um, yes. Not being afraid to like, well, okay, well, like, what well, people think. Well, yes. I'm afraid of looking bad. Mm -hmm. Like, just simply put out like what you do to the world mm -hmm. and see how they respond and just keep on doing it over and over again and you're going to start to see some results. One more question. Yeah. And yeah. that is recently we know we got uh, the Instagram and Facebook took off the vanity, vanity metric of likes. So we can no longer see, oh, a thousand people have liked this post. Um, what impact has that had on influencer marketing? Yeah, well, so um, internally, like you'll still be able to see all the likes yourself, right? Exactly. And so yeah. you'll still be able to see like um, this person's name and then all of these other names that yeah. liked it. Um, and then, you know, Instagram, for Instagram, you, not you in know, the so you'll be able to see like all of your impressions, your reach, your audience, the cities and countries your followers are from, and the likes and engagement that you um, receive on your post. So when companies and brands are going to reach out to these influencers, like they're already asking for that now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I know Instagram, people at Instagram that work there and like they're just updating all of the tools, the analytics and everything. So it's, it really hasn't changed it that okay. much at all. Yeah, okay. Um, but it's, it's, it's still going to be the same thing. Same thing, yeah. But I, I think there's just going to be like less like competition. Between yeah, people. I think it'll weed out those people that were just for the likes and yeah. didn't actually have the connection with their customer. Yeah, and I don't think people will be able to buy like, fake likes anymore. Which no. is a good thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. How much revenue, just to give us an idea, have you, I guess, generated across, if you've got figures, you may not, um, if you're comfortable to share, across you know, the brands you've worked with over the past, say, five years or so? I don't know. I mean, I mean you know, we're creating content, doing work for Ritz Carlton, mm -hmm. Russell Brunson, ClickFunnels, it's a $100 million company. Um, so we've built, like, we're growing all of their brands and then ours as well, so. Hard to put a figure on that, isn't it? literally yeah. through the roof <laughs> yeah it is yeah i mean there's a lot of like influencer marketing is a 10 billion dollar industry now so mm. people are spending millions like 20 30 50 100 200 thousand dollars just on growing their instagram accounts a month amazing um, and then having us like organize like reach out doing outreach to these influencers these celebrities um pairing these brands with the products that they're trying to promote with the ideal influencer yeah. and then you know that grows their accounts and then also makes them a bunch of sales. Fantastic. So, Zach this has yeah. been really interesting I mean the speech you gave today gave so much value you just hit on all the secret sources and I can't wow. thank you enough for You're amazing you make me feel good. Oh that's <laughs> yeah, so yeah. nice to hear. Yeah, well, it's like always to... good to hear after a talk. Oh that's so good. I appreciate I'll... you. Of course. Yeah. I appreciate you too. Thanks yeah. so much Zach. Thank you so we'll much. Thanks for having me. Yeah of course. Yeah.